We'll guide you through how to fix lag, drop frames and stutters in OBS Studio. Let's get right into this guide. Lag, drop frames and stutters are caused by your PC not having enough resources to handle everything. Or if you're streaming, your network connection not being able to keep up with the quality. We will be covering multiple steps to help you resolve this. For the first step, we will be going over to the OBS settings. First off, make sure that you have installed the latest version of OBS, as each update brings new optimizations. To do that, go over to the settings button right here, then go over to general, and go over to updates. Then right here, make sure to select stable, and make sure you have checked this box right here. Then press the apply button. This way, whenever you open up the OBS Studio application, the application itself will automatically check for updates and notify you. Then you can choose to update your application. Now let's move on to the output settings. To do that, go to the left and select the output option. First off, let's focus on the streaming section right here, starting off with the video bitrate. If you plan to use OBS for recording, I would recommend to skip the streaming bitrate part. Bitrate is how much data your computer sends for a video or live stream to a platform. Higher bitrates mean better quality, but it needs a strong internet connection, while lower ones work on a slower connection but in a lower quality. So first off, you will need to check the upload speed of your network connection. To do that, open up your browser and go to the speedtest.net website. Then, to begin the test, press the Go button right here. Now, after you determine the upload speed of your connection, on this website you will see your speed in megabytes per second, while in OBS you will need to use kilobytes per second. To convert between the two values, just multiply the megabytes per second value right here with 1000. For example, if you have an upload speed of 20 megabytes per second, that is equal to 20,000 kilobytes per second. You want to take around 50% of that number and use it for your bitrate, since you will need to use the leftover amount for applications or games running on your device and other devices on your network. Also keep in mind that streaming websites such as Twitch only allow up to 6000 kilobytes per second for their content. If your stream is lagging on your platform of choice, keep lowering the bitrate. After we can change up the video encoder, if there is a heavy load on your CPU and you're using the software X264 video encoder, you might want to consider switching to a hardware one if it is available to you. Also known as NVNC if you're using an NVIDIA GPU or AMD VCE if you're using an AMD GPU. They do the same job as the software video encoder, but require much less resources from your computer. Something worth mentioning is that you might lose out on a bit of details on your broadcast while changing this setting, so be aware. Next setting we can cover is the encoder preset which refers to the speed and efficiency at which your chosen video encoder processes your video. You can try playing around with this setting and doing a few test runs until you find the sweet spot. Me and myself, I like using the slow preset, which allows you for good quality and isn't that heavy on my computer. After you are done with choosing all of your settings, Go over to the bottom right and press the apply button. Now let's move on to the recording section. First off, you might want to change the recording path to your SSD if you have one available and if you haven't done so already. That will allow your computer to record data much faster, resulting in a much smoother experience. Then, after you do that, we can move on to the recording quality part. Try playing around with this setting. I would recommend using the option that requires the least resources, which is high quality medium file size. Afterwards, you can also try changing the recording format. Different recording formats have different levels of complexity and resource requirements. Try choosing a simple format such as MP4, which is suitable for most situations and won't use as much resources. Now for the video encoder. As I noted previously in the streaming section, try switching from a software X264 
64 encoder to a hardware one if that is available to you. That will help out reduce the toll on your CPU. After you have done all of these changes, you can go to the bottom right and press the apply button to save all of your changes. Now, after you are done with the recording and streaming settings, you can go over to the video settings right here on the left. And first off, you will need to set up your base resolution. To find your base resolution, just right click on your desktop, then go over to display settings, scroll down and find your display resolution. As you can see for me, it's 1920 times 1080. So I have selected that right here as well. Then in output scaled resolution, this will be the resolution that is sent to your broadcasting website, such as Twitch or YouTube. But this also applies to videos that are recorded to your local storage. And you can adjust this according to your needs. For example, if you have a slower internet or a worse PC, you might want to lower this setting. Then you can add a downscale filter, which is a computer algorithm used to reduce the size or resolution of an image or video while preserving its quality. So basically, if you set up 1920 times 1080 right here at base resolution, and you set up 1280 times 720 in output resolution, you can add a downscale filter to make that transition seamless. And also right here at the bottom, you can change the FPS values. So for example, if your computer can't handle the 60 FPS, you might want to change that to 30. And after you have finished with all of this, go to the bottom right and press the apply button to save the changes and move on to the last setting, which is advanced. Then go over to the top where it says general, then select the process priority option. Change this from normal to high. This way your computer makes OBS a priority and it funnels more resources into the application. After you are done with this, press the apply button and then press the OK button as we are done with all of the OBS settings. I hope this video helped you improve your stream quality and reduce your lag, stutters and frame drops. That is it for this video, thank you for watching, see you in the next one.